So today I'm going to teach you how to set up a residential client search in the multiple listing service through Paragon, which is what we use here. So the first thing you'll do is click contacts. You'll add a contact. So let's say your contact's name is Rebecca. You'll type in Rebecca. Let's say her last name is Phillips. Type in that. You'll put in her email address. You'll click primary. And then you'll hit save. Oh, it would help if I typed in the right email address. Okay, you can see it checks out the email, you hit save. Then it asks you if you wanna associate property, just hit not now. So this shows you like the contact activity, any searches or anything that you would have assigned to it. And we'll go ahead and X all of that out and X your contacts out. So now we'll go up to the search as if you were just gonna look something up for yourself. And let's say this buyer, Rebecca, would like something in Tippecanoe County. You can so type Tippecanoe, type that in. Status, you want anything that's active. You want anything that is back on market. And then you want anything that is contingent, accepting backup offers. If they have a price range, you could enter it in here. So for this example, we're gonna do, uh, their price range is high side, 500,000. As you can see, I can't type very well today. So 500,000, as you can see, you only have to put in the 500. You don't have to have actually have to put in the, the zeros for the thousands. So you'll go off of that. And that shows you up here um, that they have 116 results in the top right here so far. Now let's say that your buyer wants to specify down that they want the high school to be um, Harrison. So you would look for that search and you can't see it under my thing, but you can see William Henry Harrison. There you go. So now there's only 35 search results. So let's go with that. You can click search, but you really do not need to. You can just hit save search at the top, save search as, and you would type in here. like the buyer's last names, so like Phillips, house search. And then you click contact, and then it's gonna ask you to assign that to a contact. What you just put Rebecca in there, so you type in Rebecca. So you type in Rebecca, she shows up, and then you hit save. And then you go back into the contact. So you're gonna go in, you're gonna find Rebecca's contact. And there she is, you click Rebecca. And then you go to buyer activity on the left. And then it shows that search you just set up. So Becca or Phillips house search. And then it's gonna ask if you want automatic notifications on. And um, what you would like to click is collab center. So what that means is that it's gonna show them what properties they have that they've liked, that they've not liked. It will show them everything on there versus just sending them a property um, email every time and then they've gotta dig back through their email to find it. This does not do it that way. This is much more user-friendly. If you like, you can click send welcome message and it will auto-populate that and it shows them what the collaboration center is. And you can click preview and that will actually show you what that will look like when it hits their email. And then you hit send. And you have now set up a search for a client.